Hello world, it's the 27th of October 2014, it's 10 o'clock in the morning. I'm just about to do a video on Canada and the Prime Minister of Canada, Stephen Harper. But before that, I've got a request for information. I've got the date of birth of the first Walmart superstore. I know when Walmart started trading to the public, but I'm looking for the date in 1904 in Acton, London, when Waitrose opened its first store. Similarly, the date in 1929 in Burnt Oak in London, when Tesco opened its first short store. And similarly, the date in 1869 in Holborn, when Sainsbury's opened its first shop. And if any bright astrological student out there has got the actual date that these supermarkets opened, I'd be delighted. Thank you very much. Right, Stephen Harper in Canada. I did a horoscope on Canada the other day in relation to the shootings that happened in Ottawa. And I said at the time, completely naively, that for some reason, the horoscope of the shootings at that time did bear a very strange similarity to uh, the year 1989, when there was a very similar configuration around. So a big thank you to James from Canada, who sent me then the information that in 1989, there was the massacre at Quebec University in Montreal, when a lot of women were killed by a guy who blamed women for all of his troubles before he killed himself. Typical misogynist nut. Um, What's fascinating at that time is that at that time of the massacre, there's a lot of planets in Capricorn opposite Jupiter at eight degrees Cancer. And the Canadian horoscope has the conjunction of the Sun and Uranus at eight degrees of Cancer. So it does seem that eight degrees of the cardinal signs does seem to feature, or eight-ish degrees of the cardinal signs does seem to feature very strongly in Canadian astrology. Now the horoscope of Stephen Harper, no one has a birth time for him that I've been able to find. There's a few postulated and rectified birth times out there, all pointing to Aquarius rising, but until I see proof, I'm not gonna buy into it. So I'm using a midday birth time. Born on the 30th of April, 1959, in Toronto, in Ontario. And that makes him um, Taurus with a strong moon in Aquarius. Now. But Sun is the only planet in Taurus in his chart and it's strongly opposite Neptune. So one would be forgiven straight away for thinking, well, Sun opposite Neptune, the only planet in Taurus, he's not a typical Taurus and he's completely off planet and deluded with the Sun opposite Neptune. But hang on a minute. The Sun in his horoscope is also very strongly sextile to Mars at 11 degrees of Cancer. Uh, trying to Saturn at eight, nine degrees of Cancer, which is opposite the Canadian Sun. And the sun is, makes a lot of nice, as, of interesting aspects in his chart. He's quite an empowered individual. If there's an issue here, it's that he was born at the time of the Mars-Saturn opposition. Mars at 11 Cancer, Saturn at 8 Capricorn. Both of these are T-squared to Mercury at 12, 13 Aries. Now, on the one hand, the Saturn-Mars opposition in his chart talks a lot about anger restriction, anger management, the need for an active, physical, healthy lifestyle, none of which seems to be being addressed by him. I don't get the impression that he works out regularly, which is a great way of managing anger management. But if not, it suppresses and represses, but when it erupts, it either comes out like a volcano or else very insidiously and slyly, like a stiletto from the dark. Problem is with that Saturn, Mars, square, Mercury, Communication, mentality, intellect, mind, thoughts, speech, networking is always going to be hindered by boundaries, structures and anger management issues from youth. And with both Uranus and Pluto in the sky strongly affecting Stephen Harper's Mercury at this time and over the coming few months and particularly in the coming couple of weeks, especially around the second week of November, I can't help but feel that in the immediate short term, he is in for a very rocky ride. And I would expect significant news around Stephen Harper to be percolating in the second week of November. And if I, bearing in mind I'm working just from a midday horoscope without a term of birth, but if I were to be putting odds on his tenure as, 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 as Canadian Premier or Prime Minister or First Minister or whatever, I'd be thinking, whoa, shaky. Shaky. Saturn's coming up to sit on his Jupiter for nine months. Pluto's going to be squaring his Mercury for a year and opposite his Mars for a year. There are 
if he was a client of mine, I'd be saying, but watch your back. There's people out there who have a vested interest, who are really anti your philosophies, who are trying to shaft and target you, and they're going to use inappropriate and unethical means to do so. Um, it's not all bad. He has some lovely aspects, lovely Mars, Neptune trine, lovely Moon, Venus trine, very intellectual. But underlying it, there's some mental and communication issues which I think are being seized on by other people and worked against his best interest. And my uh, astrological hopes for his well-being over the coming few weeks are actually quite... If he's still there by the end of December in one piece and not damaged, I will feel that he has survived massive challenges. I'm not holding my breath. More later today. Catch you. Bye.